Hey everyone, welcome back. So today is Tuesday. Sorry for not posting yesterday on Monday. I had a problem with my video connection to my computer. Just wasn't recording for some reason. But I wanted to get out the any Sphere 3D and Gryphon merger that's coming up. Obviously they're saying it's going to come up this quarter, Q1. We'll see if that happens. It hasn't happened yet. But I was able to pull all the data as far as how many miners they're going to have. Uh, some of the miners, I don't know when they're going to be installed, but we know how much they're getting. Um, so maybe if you guys have some information on that, you can provide it to me and I'll update that uh, in my spreadsheet. So let's get into it here. So obviously not financial advice, you know the drill. I'm invested in the following companies and coins. So let's take a look at Sphere 3D here. So Sphere 3D is going to be um, merging with Gryphon Digital Mining. So we'll take a look at both of them. So let's start with Sphere 3D. So Sphere 3D is obviously Gryph Digital Mining Inc. Sustainability Driven with Deep Mining Expertise. They're going to be obviously merging here, um, coming up here. They did state here that the Gripe Digital Mining team is bringing 7,200 miners experience in the crypto market and 4,200 miners to be operating by Q1 of 2022. We know that. We also know that there's some speculation as far as the new miner that they're purchasing, the 40,000, um, 60,000 of those. Uh, I did a video on that one uh, a couple months back when we had the news come out that New Miner and Sphere 3D are partnering for 60,000 miners. These are obviously the 440 terahash miners, and they're very efficient at 20.2 joules per terahash. Um, they're obviously the best in the market. If they do come out, they're supposed to come out in um, June, I believe. They're supposed to get 12 of these miners for testing and evaluation. So we'll see how that plays out. Any details we get on that as well. Um, so this is what we know about Sphere. Sphere obviously has other things that they got going on. They're currently trading under the ticker symbol Annie. Um, they are currently today at $2.01, so they're up 5.24% on the day right now. But they do have some IT solutions as well. They got HVE uh, connections, uh, scalable solutions supporting next generation cloud requirements. They got unified connections, state-of-the-art IT services delivering turnkey and cost-effective solutions. Snap server expandable. Uh, enterprise storage for high-performing environments, and they have SnapMine, a cost-effective plug-and-play cryptocurrency mining solution. So let's take a look at that, see what they're bringing to the table to the mining space. So Snap Server's latest product, SnapMine, is a cost-effective plug-and-play mining solution, allowing both individual and commercial users to start cryptocurrency mining quickly and easily. Whether they are beginner or experienced miners, SnapMine offers a custom-engineered miner utilizing industry-leading components to optimize performance and efficiency. It features easily interchangeable graphic card inputs, increasing long, uh, long, long, longevity, energy efficiency, and ROI as users uh, launch, enhance, and scale their mining operations. So they're basically putting in GPUs into a rack mount server that people can mine. I'm guessing Ethereum and other um, coins that you can mine with uh, graphics cards. So they got that going. Have not seen any of these out in a while. There might be some videos out on YouTube I didn't check. Um, so I'm not sure how many they're selling of these units here. Plus, not sure how much they're making on everything else. Uh, I looked through their uh, SEC filings. Haven't seen a recent Q10. Or was it Q, Q10 and Q forms for their quarterly results or anything. Haven't seen anything recently. So we'll see when they update those. Um, let's take a look at investors here really quick. So investors, um, this is information about them. So we obviously have the latest information uh, that they received a deficiency notice from NASDAQ, and that was uh, on something here. And then obviously in February of 03, last this year, Sphere 3D to grow its Bitcoin mining capacity to 32 exa hash through the purchase of 60,000 miners. So we saw that. So let's take a look at their SEC filings here. As you can see here, I got 6Ks, uh, 425s, S8s, uh, but I'm not seeing any of the quarterly reports here. Let me see if we can go back even further than that. 6K effect, yeah, we're going back into 8 effect, 6K, 3A. I'm not sure when the last time they actually reported their uh, quarterly results. We're going back to June SD 6K effect. Um, so it's kind of iffy here a little bit on that. I'm not seeing any of their obviously reports for quarterly results. Uh, but I would did go through a lot of these uh, latest ones here trying to find out what they did mine or what they're actually going to have as far as mining equipment goes. 
and obviously we are taking a look at uh, Gryphon as well. Gryphon is the one that, that has basically the miners currently partnering with uh, Sphere 3D. They're going to get more miners through the new miners. And on their website here, they state that they have 720 petahash of potential hashing power on a standalone basis with 6.7 exahash uh, post merger. So that's merger with obviously Sphere 3D. Uh, operating break even cost of 7,262 per BTC. And they have secured 250 megawatts of capacity. Leadership team is obviously uh, pretty interesting. You got uh, CEO and director Robert Chang, previously served as CFO of Riot Blockchain. We know Riot. Riot is one of the big uh, big guys in the market right now. Uh, then we also have executive chair of the board, Brittany Kaiser, globally renowned expert in blockchain technology and digital assets, founder and president, Dan Tallhurst, previously held senior uh, strategy roles at Disney and Netflix. And then we got chief technology advisor, uh, Chris Enzi is the former CEO and COO of Riot Blockchain and has overseen the development of over 100 megawatt mining operations. So there's obviously a lot of experience here in the crypto space and mining which is good on that part. Um, they are obviously planning on a merger with Sphere 3D. Uh, we don't know when that's gonna happen, but here's what I was able to find out from the information here. So this was released, uh, when was this released? This was released, let's see if it says it here. It doesn't say it here. Uh, plan of merger dated June 3 is amended. So this is amended on December 29th, 2021. So upon fully deployment, Sphere 3D will be one of the largest carbon neutral Bitcoin miners in the world. Sphere 3D enters into agreement to acquire 60,000 next generation new miners, Bitcoin miners operating at 440 terahash for a total capacity of 26.4 exahash. Sphere 3D previously contracted to purchase 60,000 and miner S19 pros, uh, totaling 6.8, 6.0 exahash for delivery in calendar 2022. So we don't know when, this is the one that I don't really know when those coming in, along with the new miners here. Total consideration for the new miner machines includes 400 million of Sphere 3D capital stock, 29 million in cash, a Sphere 3D option to utilize up to 1.1 billion in vendor purchase financing and up to 185 million of additional milestone payments, as discussed below, for a total of 1.7 billion for 26.4 exahash. And then we also found this. This was published just recently on February 3rd. So Sphere 3D to grow Bitcoin mining capacity to 32 exahash through the purchase of 60,000 new miners and and M440 BTCs. And here is where we get a little bit uh, more information on what's going on. Uh, so right here, so Gryphon Digital Mining Inc, Sphere 3D's proposed merger partner currently has 3,000 machines in operation and an additional 500 machines that Gryphon has now deployed on behalf of Sphere 3D, so a total of three and a half thousand, as well as another 500 expected to be operational by the end of the month. So we know where they're basically gonna be at. Um, one of the bad things is right now, there's not a lot of information being presented. Um, I don't know if it's because of the merger going on, but we'll have to figure out what's going on as far as, I'd like to, well, I'd like to have them get basically uh, monthly production updates like all the other miners provide, which is great, helps us out tremendously. Um, with that, what are they at now? Quarterly results would be nice to have as well to see what's going on there. Um, and I think that's why the stock is where it's at right now, being so low priced. Um, so let's get into some of the numbers here that I got for them, and we'll go from there. Uh, let's see here. So that's over here. So here's what I got. Um, right now, they're obviously at $2.01. Shares market cap, I'm pulling this from Google uh, Finance. So this is what it's providing me with. So I'm getting basically 63 million shares right now. Post-merger, I'm guessing this is going to go up quite a bit. I don't know exactly what's going to go. And if you have any information as far as any updated information, what this is actually going to be, uh, I'd love to see it. Current hash rate, this isn't accurate. Um, so let's look at the numbers here that we have. So they reported February 3rd, I believe it was, that they are at going to be at 4,000 miners or so uh, by the end of February which is what I have here. So 3,000 were potentially operational at the end of January. Another 500 were installed as well, and another 500 are gonna be installed in February. We, I just don't know how much is actually installed here. So I have those in here for January, February, and then March, and then going down here further, it is obviously gonna increase as well. And then the Antminer S19s, the 60,000 of those, 
I don't know when those are going to get installed. They said sometime in 2022, didn't provide a start date or an end date. So that's in here. As they report more information on this, this will obviously get updated. And we'll pull numbers from here and add them in to the months that, you know, when they got installed. Ju uh, and then they're saying June, um, the new miners, 440 uh, terahash ones, they're supposed to get, from what I read, uh, 1,000 in June. And then they're supposed to get basically 10,000 uh, every month until, what is it going to be, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, through December to get them up to where they need to be by the end of the year. So all in all, based on the information we have here, they're looking to be at, uh, right now, let me see if this is correct, uh, 3,000, 6,000, they're supposed to get some more, so that's 6 exa hash. This is, why is this not, oh, it's only calculating that. So let me fix that really quick. That should be calculating all of it. There we go. So 33.12 exa hash. On that, well, let's copy this over here. Miner speed, okay, so 127,000 miners, 200 roughly. So right now, we don't know how much they're hodling as far as Bitcoin is concerned. We don't know what their mining costs are, except for they're saying 7000 something for it. That will all get updated here as the information becomes available to us. And I'll make this available to you guys as well. Uh, but right now, just based on what we're seeing here for January, February, I don't know what they're going to be installing in March. So there's a lot of unknowns here. Uh, right now, I'm looking at the stock price of where it's at and what I'm calculating it to be. Obviously, stock price is at 201. I have it at $1.40 at 75% net income from gross revenue. And using the price, uh, price range multiple of 20. This might be obviously also on the high end. I think the price here reflects them possibly growing tremendously this year if that happens, if they get all the miners that they're supposed to get. Um, reaching 33 exahash is a huge uh, milestone if they can do it, right? So I think the price reflects some of that huge future growth here and we can see that i have them basically at making 5.9 million uh, for the first quarter of this year based on the numbers that we have right now it's very difficult to get the information that you need uh, to make this accurate but I'm trying to do my best here on this one uh, but yeah if you guys know any further information any latest information on them i tried searching on the websites obviously on on their uh twitter pages as well I even reached out to i think it was Griffin that i tweet, uh, tweeted at to see if they could provide their uh, operational updates for each month um, just as a request so we'll see what happens with that but right now i think it's overvalued based on where how many miners they have installed and how much they're actually mining but i do see obviously huge potential for this company if they can get all the miners installed when they're saying they get installed. And big quotes here, the new miner machines, the 440 terahash are actually legit. They get them in basically in their hands and are able to test them out in June and then go with full blown production and ramp up from there. Um, so there's a lot of ifs here with this company. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I wish I had more details for you guys, more concrete answers, but right now, like I said, it's just looking a little bit overvalued to me, but I can understand why because of the promise of the huge growth. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, um, and then we'll go from there. I'll be working on the next video, which is gonna be the Mawson video on their numbers for Q4 and the end of year 2021. That'll be coming up next. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of all this. Thank you so much for watching. As always, this is uh, especially is available to my Patreon members, and I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, if you guys could just hit the like button, subscribe, it would help me out tremendously. That's all I ask from you guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, 